What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Jay Mills had an interview on Flip the Grip podcast, man. Shots out to Queen Flip, man. Y'all know that's my guy, man. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this dude is a straight up clown, man. I, I, I'm sorry, man. Jay Mills is a straight up clown, man. I swear, him and Murder Mook, man, them some, them dudes soft, them dudes some soft crybabies, man. They whine about every damn thing. Them dudes emotional as hell. Okay, so before he come on and flip the script podcast, he on every other interview and stuff talking about smack. Every time you hear Jay Mills, he line himself up with smack in some type of way or another. Even when he just had the face off just before the battle uh, on Red Breed Entertainment and he tried to uh, speak on Ball Chick Rain, that's another thing. Don't you ever disrespect my woman, fam. Don't you ever in your life disrespect my woman, brother. I don't play them games. <laughs> but yeah, he tried to disrespect Ball Chick Rain. You know what I'm saying? Talking about. Oh, 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 I ain't like how y'all did the clip. Y'all made it seem like I talked about Smack for the whole 20 minutes. I talked about a lot of stuff, not not just Smack. Shut the hell up, man. You did talk about that man. There was not no edited footage. What was on there is what you said for all that time. Get up out of here. You always aligned your name with Smack. You the one bought it up first. Smack ain't never bring you up with him. You always, every opportunity you get, you try to put your name tied into that man brand in some type of way, even to the fact of trying to get some type of notoriety, fame, or glory, or honor from off of it. And though you the one who actually started this man whole entire battle rap career off of what he's doing in battle rap now. Now I say that to say this, it continues so he going to flip the Flip podcast with Flip. And y'all know Flip touch and address on everything, especially a lot of things that controversial. Like that situation of him big up, uh, him saying that he's responsible for smack success. So y'all know Mook said that before. And when Mook was a guest on Flip the Script podcast, Flip addressed it with Mook. Now, let me tell you something that's different. Uh, when it comes to flip the script, then a lot of these other platforms, like if hip hop is real, would have said it, or if 15 minutes of fame would have did it, or if um, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know about other ones, but flip gonna challenge that. And the thing about it is, flip is going to uh, flip, flip is one who can challenge that because he know the history of it. You know what I'm saying? He know the history of it. Now, I say that to say this. When Mook did it, Flip challenged him on that. Like, you said you made smack. And y'all remember that interview? Him and Mook, you know, they went at it. And, Clip and, and, and Flip was coming with him with facts. And Mook was trying to kick his facts. But he challenged it. Saying this was not going to be no different when it come to Jay Mills. Now Jay Mills get on Flip the Script podcast, and guess what, y'all? For the first time in all his interviews, now he don't want to talk about smack. He don't want no smack questions. Anytime Flip attempted to want to bring up smack, he get all emotional about it. He want to get all in his feelings. He want to get up and leave from the interview because he don't want to talk about smack. Right, and we know why you don't want to talk about smack, Jay Mills, because you know Queen Flip was going to challenge it. And if you look at the beginning of the video, soon he brought it up, the interview, soon he brought it up, Flip was challenging it right then. He knew he was going to be in trouble. He didn't really have a defense to his, um, his complaint. So he tried to take the easy way out and bail. He tried to take the easy way out and bail because he knew Flip was going to challenge uh, uh, his accusations that he was saying about him being responsible for smack success. And he, and he ejected and got an easy way out of that situation. 
I think I think you lame for that, Jay Mills. I'm just gonna keep it real. You the one put that out there like that. And if you're gonna put that out there like that, don't expect for it to be challenged. And if you're going to put it out there like that, you can't expect for it to get challenged. And you need to defend what you you need to defend your argument and your accusation you putting out there and stand on it. But when you felt intimidated, when you felt threatened by uh Flip who was finna press you on that uh uh on that situation. You took an easy way out and bailed, man. You got in your feeling, took an easy way out and bailed, man. You wouldn't even let that man explain what he was getting to. You kept trying to cut him off, cut him off. You, that's what people do when they know they caught up. You, you could always tell when a person know he caught up in something. He'll keep trying to cut you off. He'll try to keep on cutting you off, won't let you get your word through and stuff because he don't want people to hear you speaking because it's going to prove that he's a fraud or a liar. And that's what he was doing. When Flip was trying to bring it to him, he kept trying to cut in, wouldn't let him really explain, wouldn't let him get out what he was trying to say. Just so unprofessional, man. You know you coming on an interview show. You know, there's no way you're going to do an interview and don't expect for Smack Name to come up. Come on, let's just keep it real, j Mill. You're on the Rare Breed Entertainment uh, platform, book for a battle, and Smack keep coming up. So how much more on the platform that actually have respect for uh, Smack? Like Queen Flip do. That's his guy. You, you knew that You knew that was going to happen. Everybody like, no, I don't want to talk about no Smack stuff. So you don't want to talk about no Smack stuff on platforms that actually uh, 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 rock with Smack. But platforms that don't really rock with Smack, you want to bring his name up all the time. Because you know it's not going to be really challenged. Man, get the hell out of here. Can I bang the gavel on this clown? Yep. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Get out of here and get out of battle rap. You not even want it no more, man. Get up out of here. Ain't nobody called for you. Ain't nobody even want you back. You volunteered your services to come back. Wasn't nobody asking for you. Didn't nobody put in no request for you. Didn't nobody bring you up and don't nobody miss you. Man, get up out of here, man. Messed up battle rap. You didn't messed up battle rap for the past two weeks until, uh, your name going to keep coming up until Summer Madness 8 happens, man. Get up out of here. Now we got to do these topics and news on you. You done stunk up battle rap. Get up out of here with that trash, man. You too damn emotional. You act like a little female, man. You sit up there and throw all that stuff out and just accept for people to respect what you say out of your mouth. Then when people challenge you on what you say, you get offended by the situation. Stand on it. Defend your stance. Defend your stand. Don't. This is the battle rap community, man. You can't just throw things out there and don't think it ain't going to be challenged, especially when you're fabricating the truth. You're fabricating the truth, man. And you knew you was going to get pressed on Flip the Grip podcast, and you tried to sabotage that man's show, man. You knew that was going to come up, man. Get up out of here. Now watch you go somewhere else and talk about smack. Get up out of here, man. I'm talking about, dude, look, it's bad enough you stunk up the battle rap community. Don't be known as a fake neither. Don't be known as a fake neither. No matter, no wonder Lil Wayne them got rid of you, man, and Nicki Minaj. Man, get out of here. You trying to trying to walk around, tell people you was young money. Man, please. <laughs> you was young money because you ain't hardly have none. That's the only thing that made you young money. <laughs> You was young money because you ain't hardly have none. That's the only thing that taught you. <laughs> With young money. Get up out of here, man. Look why I ain't no more know your ass. Get out. <laughs> How you get kicked off a record label when you ain't even drop an album? <laughs> that, meant, that meant they made a mistake. <laughs> That meant they made a mistake. They needed another player to fill out the roster. You never got a turn. Get out of here, man. <laughs> you got to be trash as hell if Drake can't make you pop. Lil Wayne can't make you pop. Nicki Minaj can't make you pop. Man, you got to be trash as hell if the top three hip-hop artists of all time can't get you popping. <laughs> Man, get your ass out of here, man. Beat it. Beat it, man. Get up out of here, man. I don't feel sorry for him. That's right, Flip. 
<laughs> Just tell him to get the hell out of here. He thought his interview was that important that Flip wasn't going <laughs> to ask what he wanted to ask. I'm like, if you ask the question, I'm going to leave. It's 807 right now. At 809, I'm like, you don't call no shots. You ain't got no damn pool. Nigga, you full of yourself. <laughs> that tank on E, man. You ain't... You don't bring nothing to the table. You don't bring nothing to battle rap. You don't bring stars to battle rap. You don't bring money to battle rap. You don't bring uh, 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 bars to battle rap. You don't bring nothing to battle rap. Man, get up out of here, man. Your swag off. Your, <laughs> your, fat, your swag's off, tranny sauce. <laughs> swag's off, tranny sauce. Man, get up out of here, man. This is trying to come to the... Battle rap, back to battle rap like he was Rick James. <laughs> With them weak ass raps, man. <laughs> this dude was weak, man. <laughs> this dude, this dude, this dude. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall. In the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. Telling me I need a girl who's as sweet as a dove. For the first time in my life, I see I need love. There I was, giggling about the games that I had played with many hearts. And I'm not saying no name. Then the thought occurred, tear drops, made my eyes fall. As I said to myself, look what you done to her. I can feel it inside. I can't explain how I feel. All I know is that I never get to know the raw deal. Playing Make believe, pretending that I'm true, holding in my lap as I say that I love you, saying no more, kissing you on the ear, whispering I love you, wouldn't I always be here? Although I all man, shut your <laughs> man, shut your ass up, get the hell out of battle crowd. <laughs> All day long, full of J. Mills ass. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Get up out of here. Yeah, messed up battle rap. This dude that promised and sweared on everything he loved. This dude sweared on everything he loved. <laughs> why do these guys be swearing on everything they love? Oh, man. <laughs> Man, get up out of here, man. <laughs> out of here with them weak ass rhymes, man. <laughs> this dude lame as hell, man. Anyway, man. Anyway, this your boy Battle Truth, man. It ain't my job. <laughs> That's the question. It's yours. <laughs> My brother name is Kenny. That Kenny Parker. My other brother, I see you as much darker. Boogie down production. <laughs> it's not about a salary. It's all about reality. Man, get your ass out of here. <laughs> uh, man, get them weak craps out of here, man. Anyway, man, it's over for you, man. Bye. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back, no. I'm talking about his name, Mills. <laughs> well, you're going to starve. You're going to starve in this community. You ain't going to get it. You ain't getting another bite from nobody. You ain't getting a sample. You ain't getting the seconds. You ain't getting the helpings. You ain't getting the scoop. You ain't getting the tray. Man, it's over for you. <laughs> You better invest well in that check you just got from ARP, and you ain't getting your other half. Man, get up out of here, man. And messed up battle rap. Then try to walk around with your head up like we all doing you wrong. Like, no, no, we ain't. I gotta dress some of you other clowns too, man. I'm finna do I'm finna do that in my next blog. I'm done with this one. I just wanted y'all to know, man. This dude just went on flip the grip, walked off of the uh off the interview because he didn't want flip the grip uh 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 bringing up smack name because he don't want to talk about smack no more on a platform that actually have uh respect for smack and could defend smack's argument against what he putting out there against smack 
That was that wasn't nothing but a cop out, man. That wasn't nothing but a cop out, and you lame for that. If you gonna put it out there, man, defend it, defend it. But defend it to I don't want to hear. No, I'm tired of hearing about that. You the one bought it up. You the one started it. You bought it up and you started it. Then when flip the grip, who could defend it? Finna talk to you about it. You on the cop out, tuck tail and run. Man, get up out of here, dog. You lame. You lame. We don't even like your kind in battle. Right? Everything about you lame. You move. You move. You move. Boy, you move backwards. You move like a two-faced backstabber, man. I'm just, I know your kind, man. I know brothers like you. I can see your kind, fam. Ain't nothing genuine about this dude, man. This dude is lame as hell. He even going to say, he even put the narrative for the battle. He tried to set the battle up all night. You know what? I'm gonna do that in I'm finna do that in my interview. That finna my next my next blog. Look, my next blog I'm finna do. Look at look at that blog. It's called F Your Feelings. I'm finna address some stuff this clown was doing, man. And it's Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.